Hey, it's Annie, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing all of my foundations, except for one. The one that I'm wearing, I'm testing today, so I'm not going to throw it in there today. But you'll see it in another video. Maybe I'll do an updated version on, on this video eventually. But what I want to talk about is my foundations that I currently have and which ones I recommend for dry skin, oily skin, combo skin, normal skin, all that. There's something in here that I want to mention, and we're going to talk about it first. Because there is a misconception with this and it is driving me bananas, okay? This is not a foundation, okay? This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, okay? So many people think this is a foundation and I don't know where they're getting that from. If you order it, it does not say it's a foundation. This is something that you wear under a foundation, so you can apply this all over your face. If you wanted to, you could just do a very, very glowy, natural sort of look. You know what I mean? If you wanted to do something like that, just kind of just natural, you could use something like that. You could also put this underneath your foundation. You just put it on, you blend it out, and then you put your foundation on top of it. And it's just going to give you a really glowy, dewy look. Or the way that I really prefer to use it is, and I'm not going to do it today because I have enough shine going on, but um, you can use this as a highlighter. I just put a little bit right here at the top of your cheeks. It's gorgeous, but this is not a foundation. The reason that there's different skin tones is because if you do want to wear it all over your face, you don't want to look like you want it to kind of go with your skin tone as much as possible. So if you, that's, that's why. So it's not a foundation. It's just, I don't know why people are saying that because I see so many, especially on TikTok, so many people are like, what well, doesn't cover? It's not supposed to because it's not a freaking foundation, okay? Sometimes I just wonder, it's like it says, there's nowhere on there that it says the foundation. I don't know where people are getting it from. It's like, pew. Okay, I have oily skin. At one point I had oily dry combination skin, but I feel like my skin is just oily. And you can see I have a shine going on already. And I like that. So I feel like the foundations that I really like, that I use, all give me a little bit of a glow. But they all work for my oily skin, okay? Except for one of them, one of them not so much. I don't wear it too much because it's kind of heavy. I think I'm going to save those two for last. Let's go with this one. This is from MAC and this is the, let me get my glasses. This is from MAC and this is a Studio Fix Fluid. Has an SPF of 15, which that means deadly squat. Um, and this one is for oily skin. I really like this one because I feel like it wears really, really well on me. I don't feel like it breaks apart on my oily skin, but I definitely would not recommend this for dry skin. I would say this would be best for oily or for normal skin. And there are some mature ladies out there that have normal skin as well. So if you are one of those people, you are so lucky. Um, but you can use this if you have normal skin as well. This is from Chanel. This is the Ultra Lay Tint Velvet. It has a blurring, smoothing effect um, foundation. It says velvet matte finish. A broad spectrum of SPF 15 sunscreen, which again means nothing. This one is very, I'm going to show you this one. I didn't show you the other one. I don't want to swatch all these, but this one is one of those that um, I'll show you. It's not really, really watery, but it's more watery than the last one. And now you're going to make a liar out of me, but it is, it is a little bit like thinner, I should say, than the other one. This is really lovely. Now, the key here is it says mattes, okay? If you have oily skin, you are never going to have a matte look. I don't even know why they put it on there, but you will never have matte skin if you have oily skin like me. So this is not for dry skin. Again, this would be for oily or for normal skin. I would not recommend this for dry skin. You would, you would hate it. You would hate it. You would just feel like you have like it would just probably accentuate everything. So you don't want to use it. But lovely if you have oily skin. You could even use this if you have combo skin. But just not dry skin. Okay. This one is the Prism Libre Skin Carrying Glow. This one is a beautiful. This one I feel like. I know this is a wide, wide range to say. But I feel like because I know I can wear it with oily skin, normal skin, and dry skin. I feel like anybody can wear this foundation. I do. I really do. 
always make sure that you are moisturizing your face before you apply your um, foundation. I use the Magic Cream. That's the one that I love. That's what I'm wearing under my makeup today. Even if you have oily skin like I do, you've got to make sure that you are moisturizing. So this one is lovely. It does have a pump on it as well. A little bit of a scent to it because it's bougie, just like the Chanel. The Chanel does have a scent to it as well. I don't like that, but I feel like this is one that any skin, any skin type can wear. This is very similar to this, and this is the Anastasia Luminous. I love this. Again, it has a, a pump on it, and I feel like, just like with this one, I feel like this is a foundation that anybody can wear. The nice thing about this, and I feel like out of all the foundations I have, I think this is the one that has the biggest range of skin tone. really wish more companies would do that. They really need to, they really need to work on that. They really do. Some people have paler skin than me. Some people have olive tone skin or darker chocolate skin, you know? We all have different skin tones. Let's just get with it and make sure everybody can be, can find a foundation, you know what I mean? So that's something I love about it is I feel like they have a really, really good range of skin tones and shades in, in this brand. Uh, it wears really, really well. Again, I have oily skin, I can wear it. I feel like dry skin can wear it and normal skin can wear it. I think it's a lovely, lovely foundation. Foundation should be evening out your skin tone. You should never feel like you just have to layer, 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 layer to cover it. If you are doing that, then you might want to look for a color corrector first and apply that. And you don't have to put it all over your face. You just put a color corrector in the areas that you need it, okay? You can even use a concealer, like a thicker pot kind of a concealer. Um, and you can conceal those areas so it's more of like a it would be like a full coverage and you can put that on those areas let it sit for a little bit so it kind of melts in with your skin and then you can blend it out put your foundation on over it and then you're not layering up so much of your foundation because especially mature skin I keep saying this but it's really important you just don't want to put a lot of product on because anytime you put all that product on if you have lines and wrinkles and I don't have a lot of lines, but I do have some, especially on my forehead. If I put too much product, guess what's going to happen? It's going to settle. So we got to do less product. So I just wanted to, to share that with you. Okay. This is one that is so subtle. This is for somebody that's like, I don't want to look like I'm wearing any foundation at all. I don't want to look like I'm wearing anything. I just want something to kind of blur blur it out a little bit, but I don't care if you can see my imperfections. That's what this is. And this is the La Beige's Water Fresh Tint from Chanel. This is lovely, but I'm going to tell you, I don't use it much. This is still my first, um, this is my first one. So I guess I'm not one of those people that wants to go. <laughs> I just feel like this. I, I, it's lovely and I do use it and I need to use it more, but I just feel like I'm either going to wear makeup or I'm not going to wear makeup. You know what I mean? If I'm going to wear it, I want to see it. If I'm not, then I'm just not going to wear anything kind of a thing. But this is really, really nice. I haven't really found a tinted moisturizer that I really like. I just feel like if you want to do a tinted moisturizer, I just say take your foundation and put it in a moisturizer and put it on your face. Honestly, because I feel like most of the tinted moisturizers, by the you put it on and you don't even see it anyways. Like... Even if you're wearing a tinted moisturizer, I feel like you want to have a little bit of coverage. You know what I'm saying? This you won't get any. This you will not get any coverage. You won't. So that might be something that you're going to not like at all, but I'm just, I'm just telling you. So you would apply this. I have a, a brush. I put it on there. I kind of dab it, and then I just put it on. So that's another thing, too, is if you have dry skin and you're using a brush to apply it, this might not be good for you either. Okay, so I would say... I have oily skin. I can wear it. I would say this is for normal combination skin. I don't know if I would say dry skin only because of the way you have to apply it. I mean, when I say dry skin, I mean dry flaky skin. If you just have dry skin, but it's not peely, then yes, you can use it. But if you have dry flaky skin, then do not use this because you have to use a brush and that brush is just going to kick up all of that dry skin and it's going to make it look worse. You're just going to highlight it and you don't want to do that. And this is the All Hours Foundation from um, YSL. It's up to 24 hour wear which is BS. Uh, it says Flawless Matte Full Coverage Oil Free. 
I do like this one, but it has alcohol and added it as another one that I have. So this is a really lovely foundation. I would not recommend using this all the time. And I personally, in my opinion, I should have put this with my other full coverage. Uh, maybe I'll show all of them now and then we'll get on with the rest of it. I personally wouldn't use a full coverage every day. I just feel like it's too heavy for mature skin. If you have issues with your skin, address them. There's so many things you can do with skincare to treatments for your skin instead of just piling and piling and piling up your foundation. Because at first it might look okay, but then as the day goes on, it, it's not going to look good. So this is just a foundation or any kind of full coverage foundation. It's just something I rarely wear. I rarely wear it. And it's something that, you know, it does stay on longer for me. It definitely does, but it just can look a little heavy on mature skin. We want to have that nice glowy, dewy look. And a lot of you know, these don't always do that. So I would say that this would be more for oily skin, combo skin, and normal skin. Dry skin, I think you have to be really careful with this because this can, it could tend to look aging. I think full coverage can really tend to look aging, so you have to be careful with full coverage. The other full coverage is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one, again, is, is fabulous, but same thing. I think for oily skin, for normal skin, combination skin, dry skin, I, I'd be really careful with it. And then the other one, now this one, this one I have to be careful with my oily skin because I just feel like any cream foundation that I've ever used, I just feel like it's, it's just too heavy. It's just too heavy. And this one isn't supposed to look heavy, but I still feel like it looks heavy on me, okay? And this is from Westman Altier. And this is the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. And this one is in the color Altier 2. I hate her packaging because it gets kind of dirty looking. And this one's probably getting bad. Um, I guess I didn't push it all the way down. I don't use this very often. I just keep this just as a... Yeah, I actually have some left. I just don't pull this out very often because it's just so heavy on me. You know, I just feel like creams are just too heavy, but... Um, I would say this would be better for dry skin, normal skin, maybe combination skin, oily skin. You have to be careful with it, in my opinion. This one is from Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. They don't have a big color range in this, and most of them tend to be on the warmer side, so that's the negative with it. I don't know why all the shades are so warm. They really need to... They really need to increase their, their shade range and also the, the base of it because they all look the same. It's hard to find a, a match for it. Um, but it is a really nice foundation. It wears really, really well on my oily skin, so it doesn't make it, make it real greasy. I think this would look beautiful on um, normal skin, and I think that dry or dry oily combination, I feel like anybody can wear this. It's just the shade range sucks. It does have a pump on it as well, which I really like. The Estee Lauder one did not. You can get a, a pump for it. And this one did too. I forgot to share that. This one is from Rare Beauty. So this is one of those that has the doe foot applicator, which I'm not really a fan of. I don't know. I just don't. I'm just not a fan of that personally. Even when you get to the bottom, like, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, but it is a nice foundation. I feel like this can work for any skin type. I feel like oily can wear it because I have oily skin. Combo skin, normal skin, dry skin. I feel like you could wear this foundation. Um, this one is light coverage. So light, medium coverage on this one. Um, really, really a nice one. Doesn't have any scent or anything. I believe Rare Beauty is a uh, clean um, brand too. So just like the, uh, the Westman Altier, this is a clean brand as well. I don't personally just look for that when I'm got, buying my makeup. I know some people specifically look for that. I personally don't. I just look for what's going to work with my mature skin because not everything works for mature skin. Okay, so I just I don't want to limit myself to that. That's all I'm going to say. This is the Stila Hide and Chic Foundation. It's lovely. It's more of a uh, serum type of foundation. Let me see if I can pump this one on here for you. So I would say this would be lovely on dry skin, normal skin. You can wear it. 
I can wear this foundation and it looks nice on me even though I have oily skin and it doesn't look gross on me so I feel like anybody can wear this one again it's really oops I don't know why I'm doing that because I took off but it is a really really nice uh, foundation really lovely if you want a fresh glowy dewy look I think you'll really like it it's a light to medium coverage this one is from it cosmetics and this is your skin but better so again this has a pump on it this one works for my oily skin but I don't know if it works for everybody's oily skin okay um, when it settles I can see it has some oil on the top so I would say in my opinion I think it works nice and I do like this I don't think I would purchase it again but I think it works better for oily dry combination skin uh, normal skin and dry skin is what I think this works best for so it's very skin like really nice this one is from Gucci and this is the uh, fluid day beauty uh, natural finish fluid foundation and again just like this one if I let this sit and I don't disturb it I see it like the oil separating so there is oil in here it does have a, a pump on it I do like it it is fragranced because it's bougie I wish it wasn't fragranced I don't know that I would get this one again it is really really lovely I would say this is best for oily dry combination skin dry skin and normal skin but oily skin um, it can look a little shiny at the end of the day it's not terrible it's nice but that's what I would say if it's a light to medium coverage really nice I would say most of my foundations are light to medium I just have a couple of full coverage this one is from and I probably have to get a better match next time this one I don't know you look at my other colors and then I have that okay um, but this is from Sicily this is the photo tint Eclat and this is in the color swan I feel like they sent me the wrong color too because I feel like I got vanilla before so maybe that's why it's so light so I may have to mix this with something but anyways so I really like this one it does have a pump on it and here I'll pump I'll put the color on and kind of see what it looks like I really like this it does have a fragrance in it but it's not terrible and it goes away I feel like when I wear this one this is kind of like my um, my Mac as far as like it wears really really well in the heat and humidity for me so I really really like this I feel like this would be best for oily skin and normal skin dry skin I don't think you're going to like this but if you have dry or if you have combination skin it may work for you but I would say it's best for oily or normal skin the last one is this one and this one is from Giorgio Armani this is the luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation I love this foundation it has a pump on it. it does have a little bit of a fragrance but unfortunately just like the YSL it has alcohol to add in it I wish they wouldn't put that in there it's alcohol to add it's not good for your skin just so, in case you don't know so what alcohol to net will do is it will look like it's controlling your oil but then it stimulates I don't know exactly how to explain it but then it actually produces more oils what it does so it's really not good for your skin um, the only thing I will say about its foundation as opposed to skincare or a sunscreen that has it in there this isn't going to sit right on your skin like I have layers and layers and layers of skincare so I don't worry so much but it isn't one that I'm going to use every day I would if it didn't have it in there because it is gorgeous on my skin it wears well it makes my skin look amazing I love this but again it has alcohol to net so if you have dry skin I would say stay away from this I would say if you have oily or normal skin yes but dry skin because of the alcohol to net I would say no stay away from it those are all my foundations and the skin types that are good for as I said I am testing out a foundation again today and I'll always be testing out more and as I do I will update this and I will share it with you again and if you've tried any of these foundations let me know and let me know also what are your top three favorite foundations would love to hear from you and and share your skin type too and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye.